Okay, so today we're working with uh, Sid, and Sid has an ulcer on the dorsum of his hand, and we want to cut that off first before we stick him in the whirlpool. So the first thing we want to do is what? Wash your, your, your hands, and then we want to. You can read. It's, uh, it's okay to read. <laughs> <laughs> we want to put some gloves on our hands first. Also, by the way, I only have ten minutes. Uh, YouTube, you can only put ten minutes or less in time, so I have to be done in ten minutes. So I have to get this done very quickly. <laughs> I was told yesterday I took ten fifty-five. It was too long. All right, so cuts off dressing with clean gloves, avoiding the wound area. So the wound is here, so we can cut on the volar surface of the hand. So we're gonna come right in here and cut that dressing off. All right. Take a look at that dressing and see if you can just kind of hold your hand like that from good. Thank you. All right, so if we look at the dressing, we might see some drainage on it. If we go to page 17, uh, it might be some drainage on there and it has the varying amounts of drainage non scant, small, moderate, large. Uh, of course, we can get the odor from his actual hand if there's some odor there. We can see if there's some undermining. We can't quite see the tunneling and yet unless we use a Q-tip to do that. We'll check the extrudate, the edges, the tissue color. Uh, we'll measure the size of the wound. Most likely, usually it's done afterwards, not necessarily before. And then we'll look at the peri wound as well. So what we want to do is take the dressing and put the dressing in the red bag. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, Sid, what we want to do is place your arm in the whirlpool. So we're going to make pretend that the whirlpool is right here. All right, that's his whirlpool. All right, then after that, what we want to do is set the timer. Set the timer for 15 minutes. And then we can go ahead and um, leave him in there for that period of time. While he's there, I can go do something else with somebody else. So I want to take my glove off. Bob, and it's time to come out. So Sid, if you can just take your arm out for me. I'll place your hand <laughs> this towel right there. You can place your hand right there. The ulcer, no, you can back where you were. That's, that's fine. The ulcer is right there, but I can still take the towel and go in the other areas that is not the ulcer. All right. Go around those areas, maybe a little bit around the fingers. All right. And then I can open up. Um, the towel here. Now before I do that, what I want to do is let's take some tape. Go ahead and tear that. Put that right on there. Alright, All right, good. Now I'll open up my sterile towel and I'll use, use another surface to open and place that if I need to do that. Alright, open up that towel. And I can see that the corner I need is over there on that side over there. All right, so I'm gonna close it, turn it around, and open again. And then I'm gonna lift high enough so it does not hit the table. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, it didn't drop all the way, but remember I can touch an inch around the borders all the way around. All right, so there we go there. And then I can open, and I can place this right over top of his wound area. All right? Good. All right. So what I'll do is I'll use this area right here as my sterile field area. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and open up my sterile field. Everything okay, sir? You good? Yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and open up the field. Using the thin R eminence all the way to the edge. Corner's on the bottom, so I'm going to turn it over. This corner's on the other side, so I'm going to turn it around. Grab the corner and go high enough so I do not touch the table. Alright, and then I'm going to find the edge. touch the 
the table. Just want to make sure I'm not over top of the surface that I'm working on. All right. Then I want to take the roller guard. Sometimes the roller guard sticks to the actual plastic on the inside here, so I want to make sure it's not sticking to the plastic so I can mobilize it around. And then open. Open away from the field, not over the field. I want to do that. Use the fingers. And I want to push it onto the field. And then I want to do the same thing with the four. Maybe struck a little bit on the inside, so I'll do that too. Again, seeing our eminence to the edge, away from the field. Right. Again, same side. Let's go ahead and push that on the same side there. And then, I can always touch the table under here. here because they're on the inside. I wasn't sure where all of this was going to land initially. So now I can open. I'm going to open at the doors. The most dangerous part of opening is right here in the center where we can see where the gloves are sticking out. So be very careful with the thumbs when you open the doors. Open the doors. I'm going to open with an upside down crease so the doors don't close. Also I want to make sure that my Gloves are not so close that when I finish opening, I open over top of those supplies there. So I want to be away from those. Put my upside down crease in. I want to don, as we said, don means to put on, doff means to take off. I want to don my dominant hand. My dominant hand is my right hand. So I'm going to use my left hand to, to grab the glove here and place it on. I get all the fingers in if I can. <laughs> we have to post two videos. <laughs> that will be part one and part two. <laughs> part one, part two, part two, 30 seconds. Should have got those non-make latex gloves. Okay, come on, come on. All right, and then the other one, you're going to go into the pocket, put that on. And then we can fix. One dangerous thing that most people do on practicals, they some reason need to move this piece of paper, but if you do that, you're contaminated, so don't touch anything there. I'm going to do this here. I have both the gloves on my hand, so what I need to do is either ask him to do that, or what I should have done is left one glove off at least so that I could take off the glove. I mean, take off the stirrup. So, Sid, can you take that off for me? He rips it off. All right, so what we can do is just go ahead and wrap that area. All right, and you can hold it up for me. I'm going to wrap around that area there. Sure, we stay in a figure eight or a diagonal. Uh, we want to make sure that we do that, especially with fingers, because we want a one inch border all the way around the four by four so that no contaminants uh, get underneath the borders uh, of that gauze. 